We love to sing in my music room. We love to dance and whistle too. We love to sing in my music room. We love to play. To Sarah's Music Room. I am so excited that you are here today. Let's sing our hello song. Ready? Everyone grab your shakers or clap your hands. Here we go. Hello my friends, hello my friends, how are you today? Hello my friends, hello my friends, now it's time to play. Hello, hello, hello to you today. Yay! Wonderful job, friends. Today in Sarah's Music Room, we are talking about feelings. Feelings? What are feelings? Well, there is the sense of touch where we touch or feel something like this pillow. I'm going to feel it and it feels so soft. And these buttons feel smooth and hard. But that, those are not the types of feelings that I'm talking about today. We're talking about ways that you feel on the inside. These are things sometimes that we can't see, but we feel them in our bodies. Like when you remember something, or when you do something, or when you hear something, or maybe you see something over there, it makes you feel a certain way. So let's take a look at some of these feelings, or they're also called emotions. Ready? So here's a feeling. What does that little emoji face look? Happy, that's right. I feel happy today. Oh, what about this feeling or emotion? Yes, I feel sad today. Here's a feeling. I feel worried. This little emoji is worried about something. What about this? Maybe you saw something that made you feel scared. Oh, I think we know what this one is. This is a feeling of being angry or mad. Here's a feeling of <gasps> surprise. Like when you open a present and you didn't know what it was, you're surprised. Here's a feeling, today I'm feeling tired. I need a nap. What about this one? Hmm, this isn't quite sad or worried, it's confused. Maybe I don't understand what is happening right now and I feel confused. These are some types of emotions or ways that we feel on the inside. Let's look at this tired one. Sometimes you feel tired. And sometimes when you're tired, you even have other feelings like I'm sad or I'm mad because I'm tired. And you know what song really helps me when I'm tired? Helps me fall asleep? This song right here. 
Can you twinkle your hands like stars? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Sometimes this song, Especially when you play it slow makes me feel tired and sleepy and happy too to fall asleep. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Sometimes when we feel tired after we take a nap, when we wake up, we feel better and happy. Wow. Let's take a look, take a look at our eggy friends. Now, our eggy friends, they're all feeling a certain way. And I think almost all of them look like they feel happy. Look, feeling happy. Some might even say content. Happy, happy, but oh, this one doesn't look so happy, does it? This eggy, let's talk to this eggy. It's a blue eggy. Eggy, hello. How are you feeling today? Let's see. Can you put my top back on, please? Oh, sure. I'm feeling a little scared. You're scared? Was everything okay? I saw something and I didn't know what it was, but it turned out to be just a little squirrel. Oh, well, thank you for telling me how you felt and why you had those feelings. Let's take a look at this special book called Donde Esta Shemata. Donde Esta in Spanish is where is, and Shemata is a Yiddish word for a special little blankie or blanket that you keep close. Donde esta Shamata? Where is blankie? We're gonna see a lot of different emotions or feelings in this book, and I want you to be on the lookout. Are you ready? Do you have a favorite thing or toy? One that brings you special joy? Like a fluffy, puffy pup? or a dolly to dress up, or a funny furry hat, or a puppet Persian cat. <laughs> My favorite thing is lost right now. I must find it somewhere, somehow. Donde esta Shmata? I snuggle Shimata so, so much. It's gray and very soft to touch. And though it's frayed and worn a bit, it's the best thing my bubbies knit. I really love my Shimata so. Where, oh, where did Shimata go? Donde esta Shimata? Will you come and help me look in every cranny and each nook to see if we will have the pleasure of finding my most favorite treasure? Donde esta Shimata? Let's open it up. It's just a parrot eating a carrot. Donde esta Shamata? It's just an armadillo. 
Hiding under a pillow. Donde esta Shamata? It's just my mama feeding our llama. Donde esta Shamata? It's just my sister Zara playing with a capybara. Donde esta Shamata? It's just a sloth chasing a moth. I feel so sad. I feel so mad. Donde esta Shamata? <gasps> Suddenly, to my surprise, I just can't believe my eyes. In walks Bubby through the door. Here's what you've been looking for. Shamata didn't go too far. I found Shamata in my car. Bringing Shamata back to you makes me happy through and through. Thank you all. As you can tell, with your help, it ended well. The end. Friends, what an interesting book. Donde esta Shamata? Where is Blanky or Shamata? Let's look at some of the pictures and see what emotions or feelings our friend was having. Hmm. She looks a little sad here or maybe confused because she doesn't know where her favorite Blanky is. She's cuddling that, maybe she's tired. And what feeling does she have here or emotion? What do you think? That's right, sad. Let's keep looking. Maybe here she's confused, right? And maybe here she is. What feeling could this be? Worried. I'm worried about my shamata. Here, maybe she's excited because she thinks she's found her shamata. Let's keep looking. And here, our friend tells us exactly how she's feeling. I feel so sad. I feel so mad. Donde esta Shamata? Sometimes it really helps to tell a grown up how we're feeling if we know how to say it. I feel mad. I feel sad. I feel happy. I feel excited. Oh, now everybody's happy here. Woohoo! Shamata has been found. It was in Bubby's car. I have a very special song about feelings that I want you to hear, friends. Let's go over to the Sarah's Music Room piano. Here we are at the Sarah's Music Room piano to sing a song about feelings. Did you know that everybody has feelings and emotions? Little children just like you and grown-ups like me, or your parents, or your family, or your teachers. Everybody has emotions and feelings. We all get sad and mad, and we're all sometimes happy and scared and surprised and excited. We all feel this way. And you know what? It's okay to have these feelings. This is a song called Sometimes. It's okay to be 
when we feel sad or mad we just need some time to breathe and some space to feel all the feelings that we feel sometimes it helps when we have a hug or when somebody tells us you know even though you're sad or you're mad or you're not feeling so well I love you yes all right come meet me back at the couch what is this It's time for our storybook. Our storybook today is The Magical Yet. The Magical Yet, words by Angela DiTerlizzi. Art by Lorena Alvarez. There are days when your dreams haven't come true, or you're upset by the things you can't do. If you've lost or failed or cried just a bit, you're tired of waiting, ready to quit. Like that shiny new bike you couldn't ride, and it didn't matter how hard you tried. You couldn't pedal, and you couldn't steer, and you couldn't get that bike into gear. Then, when you thought you were on the right track, you popped a wheelie and fell on your back. And now you won't ride. No way. Not never. No riding for you. You'll walk forever. Don't give up now. There's a major game changer, a most amazing thought rearranger, someone to show you how good you can get. Now introducing the magical yet. With this yet's magic, 
you can begin to see that you're going beyond where you've been. There are so many things that you've learned to do when you didn't know the yet was with you. Like when you babbled before you could talk or how you crawled before you could walk. Yet's a dreamer, a schemer, a hoper, a trier, a maker, a doer, a gotta fly higher. This yet finds a way, even when you don't, and yet knows you will when you think you won't. Like that shiny new bike that you couldn't ride, hi, hop right back on with the yet by your side. Yet doesn't mind warm-ups, fixes, and flops, do-overs, redos, stumbles, and stops. Yet knows there's mistakes, some big and some small. With yet, you're sure to get over them all. Play the kazoo or play the bassoon. Jam with the yet and you'll soon be in tune. Try skateboarding trips, tricks like the ollie heel flip. This yet can get to the championship. Tongue twisters twisted your tongue in a knot. Yet says, keep trying and practice a lot. Be patient, yet can't do it all overnight. Some things take days, months, or years to get right. But if you keep leaping, dreaming, wishing, Waiting, learning, trying, missing. With the yet as your guide along the way, you'll do all the things you can't do today. Now you're bolder, braver, starting to see. With yet, you can get where you want to be. You finally did it, yet knew you could. You're not just writing, you're getting quite good. But don't stop now, you've got so much to do. The good news is this yet grows with you. So no matter how big or old you may get, you'll never outgrow, you'll never forget. You can always believe in the magic of yet. The end. The magical yet. I saw a lot of different emotions and feelings in that book. I saw happy, excited, surprised, tired, sad, mad, so many different feelings. Friends, I hope you had a wonderful time in Sarah's music room and I hope it made you feel happy. Let's sing our goodbye song. Everyone grab your shakers or clap your hands. Ready? Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. We had fun and we played. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. Now it's time to say goodbye, goodbye, goodbye to you today. Yay! See you next time.